that. You've been playing a game that's sort of a retro horror game. I talked yeah. about it a little while back. Yeah. Um, I had to first take a look at it, but now you have give jumped right into Fear the Spotlight. Fear the Spotlight, the very the, the first Bloom House game. Yeah. Um uh lo long and the short of it is is this game is absolutely incredible and mm. uh i highly recommend this being your sort of halloween game of the like it's not long it's like three hours it, 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 like it's 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 not it's this not a long trend game. This trend yeah. of these three-hour horror games yeah. is pretty awesome right now, I gotta say. Um it's 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 so good. It 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 does a good job at making it feel like a PS1 Dreamcast game mm. without like being fully a PS1 Dreamcast game. Like it doesn't limit itself to it. It's just like this is how you would remember them looking. They do a lot of the cool stuff. They got some cool like polygon wobble and and stuff, which is like an option you can turn on and off. Uh and the story is, I mean, it's the hook. The story's the story of this is the hook uh completely. It's a two-person team. Um uh, the, the the story of this game is is that this game was released before. Mm. Um it came out um in like like it was like a horror game jam it was like haunted ps1 disc huh. volume one or something it was like a game jam kind of thing um and then they released it by itself blumhouse picked it up unreleased it <laughs> gave them money to add voice acting and up fix some of the stuff and they, they, they even added an epilogue to the game hmm. um after you beat the game, you unlock, um, you get to play from the other girl's, uh, Amy's perspective mm -hmm. uh, of what happened. Um, so the story is you, um, the girl with the glasses that you play as, you, you break into the school at night to steal a Ouija board to perform a seance and things go uh, horribly wrong. And, it, and you start piecing together a old school store uh, like hmm. uh thing where the school burned down um years and years ago and so you start piecing that together with you know puzzles that you solve and notes that you find and all sorts of like different puzzles that you're solving it throughout the hmm. game and um uh it's really cool there's no that they like the only real enemy in the game is uh the spotlight man mr uh sure mr crane is turns out that uh, the name is um and there's no combat it's it's hide uh your health meter is your lungs because you have asthma so oh, you're so okay. your your healing items is is you find inhalers throughout the uh, game. So when the spotlight guy gets you, he like picks you up and like shines the spotlight in your face, like the end of the lighthouse, hmm. uh, and throws you to the ground. And you you get about three shots until it's like you know go to the checkpoint. Um, this game's creepy. Uh, you see in the trailers sometimes the little weird creepy uh, kids that are like looking at you and stuff, and they just kind of hide them. You'll be walking down a hallway and then all of a sudden you'll just see like little glowing eyes disappear off into the distance or like feet dangling under a toilet. And when you get close to it, they disappear. You hear sounds everywhere. It's, sure. the, uh, the atmosphere is is is, is true horror. Uh, it's great. Uh, uh, I, I, I really I, I can't really get too much into it because the story is really cool. Um, awesome awesome uh and yeah and like i said it's like you know three hours to finish it and it's perfect. just it's the perfect halloween game uh short list of one of my favorite games of the year so far so nice and it sells it sells i mean it it like controls pretty well it looks like yeah, it's still got a little it, of that yeah, retro it, yank yeah it. it's it's got a little bit of the um mm. like retro jank but it's sure uh, it, it's it, it's it's easy to control and there's not a lot to necessarily do. You have run and duck 
and interact. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, it's 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 and, and flashlight, but okay, okay. Um, so yeah, it's 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 it it it's a it's it's a game that goes down smooth. Um, nice. Perfect game to kick off your publishing initiative, honestly. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, love like, it. like you said, the perfect it's a perfect length. Perfect length, uh, perfect price for the length too. I mean, it's everything. It's like twenty bucks. You can't do can't go wrong. Okay. Yeah. And I'm playing it on PC, and it okay. runs absolutely fantastic on the Steam Deck. So okay, okay. 